Hi, I'm Jason England. <coughs> uh, please excuse the bluish tint of this video. I'm recording it uh, with my computer webcam right now. Uh, as most of you know, I will be joining my good friend Michael Close for a Close-Up Magic workshop on uh, Georgian Bay, a few hours north of Toronto, from October 17th through the 20th. Um, you can find more logistical details at michaelclose.com under his uh, workshops tab. So, uh, I'm making this video to clarify an issue that I run into from time to time uh, whenever I do workshops or lectures for people. Because of my reputation as someone who enjoys performing difficult sleight of hand with playing cards, I often get questions from potential attendees about uh, or expressing doubt about their abilities and whether or not uh, they think they'll uh, be able to get anything out of a workshop with me. Uh, they often think that they're not advanced enough to get anything useful out of a workshop with me. And nothing could be further from the truth. Over the past 25 years, I have worked with uh, other experts. I've worked with uh, advanced professional magicians. I've worked with serious amateurs. And yes, I've worked with complete beginners. And of all of these groups, it's actually the beginners that uh, and the serious amateurs that get the most out of a session um, and that's largely because they have the most to learn they have the most uh, information that is new to them if you're already uh, a world-class uh, bottom dealer and push through shuffle guy and palming expert and things of that nature um, there's certain things I can show you but it's not nearly as much as what I can show someone who is a beginner or a serious amateur so, um, the truth is, the only prerequisites that you need to attend this workshop are an interest in one or, one or more of the subjects under discussion and a desire to learn. That's it. If you have those two things, you're going to be a perfect fit. So, uh, what are the two major subjects under discussion at this workshop? Well, I think it's pretty simple. Uh, they are, one, the theory and performance of modern magic with an emphasis on uh, close-up and parlor magic and also gambling demonstrations and expose work. Uh, of course within those two broad categories are uh, literally hundreds of subtopics and they're all available for discussion also. So here's just a, a brief list of some things that we will cover or that we can cover. Uh, the first would be the use of gambling slights and ideas that you can use to improve your magic routines and vice versa, the use of magic ideas that can improve your gambling routines. An examination and discussion of actual gambling and cheating devices and how they were really used. And I find this information is invaluable to magicians who enjoy doing the occasional gambling routine. And that's because knowing the real work allows you to discuss things that other magicians um, cannot discuss. They don't know this information. It also opens up a lot of avenues to interesting and authentic presentations. Uh, I will also be providing the inner workings behind most of the 52 segments from Steve Forty's Gambling Protection Series DVD set. Uh, for those of you that don't know what that was, this was 52 of the most unbelievable sleight of hand moves ever put on video. And the workings behind those moves are known only to a handful of people. And we can examine them one at a time. And you will leave with knowledge that almost no one has other than a few members of Steve's inner circle. Uh, incidentally, many of these moves only look impossible because Steve does them so well. They're actually quite doable if you have the right person show you exactly what's going on. Uh, last but certainly not least, uh, for the purposes of this list, I will provide the attendees of this workshop with my database, which currently sits at over 400 fantastic effects uh, mostly card magic effects, uh, gambling routine type effects, but over 400 effects that I've collected over the past 25 years. Virtually all of them are in print and the source material is provided so that you can look up the routines yourself. These aren't just routines that I've read in a book but never tried. I've actually performed, uh, I believe at last count, over 99% of them at one time or another in either formal or informal performances. So these are the effects that I thought enough of 
to write them down so that I would never forget them and so that I can uh, continually look back upon them and go through them and find uh, interesting things that uh, I know I've done at one time in the past but maybe have just forgotten about. I've got them all written down. And of course I'll be available alongside Mike to watch, analyze, and critique your routines, your methods, your techniques, um, your presentations, anything you want to discuss. And the best part of all is that we're going to be doing this in a fantastic picturesque setting um, on the shores of a lake in a beautiful cabin with all of our meals and uh, transportation taken care of. What more could you ask for? I appreciate you guys watching this, and I hope to see you in October. Thanks a lot.